Well, hello and magical guys. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I've got a Nightmare for Christmas haul. So for this Nightmare for Christmas theme video, I've gone all out with my outfit. So first of all, I've got my gorgeous ears here, my new Oogie Boogie ears, which I will show you on later on in the video. And for my t-shirt, I have got this amazing Blame It on the Boogie t-shirt. So I'm going to start with the gym shows. So the first gym show I have to show you guys is this super cute Zero gym show. He is absolutely adorable. You've got his super cute little doghouse and he's actually floating through the tombstone doghouse which I love. You can see his tail there floating through. And then on the tombstone doghouse it says zero in writing and it's got a super cute skull on there. And then you've got the cross at the top of the doghouse and then you've got little zero looking. It's super cute. Look at that pumpkin nose. We all love his pumpkin nose. Adorable. Jim Shaw classic swirls on him there. And then this gorgeous detail on the base here. And then these gothic vines going across, which I absolutely love. I think it's stunning. I love all the little details. Even the brickwork on the tombstone is amazing. Like, look at this. Absolutely incredible. That was my Zero Gym Show, and I am obsessed with this. And this is called Floating Friend, which I think is a perfect name for this beautiful gym show tradition. The next gym show that I have to show you guys is one that's been on my wish list for the longest time and I kindly got gifted this by my amazing friend Catherine in a magic mail video which I will leave the link description box down below. I couldn't believe she gifted me this. It is gorgeous. It is Jack and Sally. They're simply meant to be. This is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to start at the base. You have this gorgeous purple base here with some super cute pumpkins with different expressions. And then moving up, you've got Sally's incredible dress. Look at all the details and the touches here. The pattern is insane. Absolutely beautiful patchwork on her dress there. And then she looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at her beautiful face. Look at her stitches. And then you have Jack, who looks extremely handsome. I know me and my friend Brittany from All Life Salt Life swoon over Jack constantly. He is so hot. What a handsome guy. And then he is holding her waist, which I just can't get over. Like, it makes my heart melt. How precious is that? He is literally holding her waist. This gym show is called Fated Romance, which is a perfect name. Although I kind of wish that it was called Simply Meant To Be because that song at the end of the movie is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I sob every time I think it's beautiful. It's clear to see we're simply meant to be. Oh, gorgeous. So I am obsessed with this gym show. It is beautiful. The next gym show I have to show you guys is the villain from the movie, one of my favourite characters, one of my favourite gym shows now in my collection, I'm obsessed with this, and the clue is he's on my ears, it is the one and only Oogie Boogie. Here he is, Oogie Boogie. This gym show is absolutely incredible, it is gorgeous. I was going to wait and hold off before purchasing this, but then I found out that it was getting discontinued in the UK, so they've only got a few more coming out, I think, in the next two months, and then after that shipment is done, there will be no more coming over from America. So I think he's still easy to get in America, but in the UK he will be discontinued. So I panicked and had to purchase him, and I'm so glad I did, because he was the last one on all the sites I normally purchase gym shows from, including Amazon. So I freaked out, and I purchased him. So just a warning, if you are in the UK and you do want Oogie, then I would go and get him straight away, just in case you struggle to get your hands on him for the retail price that he once was. So here is Oogie. He is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, where do I start on this masterpiece? I am obsessed with this. I'm going to start on the base. I love the colours here and the gothic detailing of the vine. Super creepy and super gothic. And then as you go up, you've got little details of stitches going all the way down his side, which I think is incredible. And you can see the colourful, creepy bugs sticking through, which I think is amazing. Like I said, Jim Shaw is a king when it comes to details and touches on his figurines, on his artwork. Classic Jim Shaw swirls there in a pretty lilac colour. And then you have his body and he's holding his dice because he's a gambling ghoul, baby. And no, he don't play fair. I love his song so much. So he's got his dice because he's a gambling ghoul, super cute. And then you've got his creepy face. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh, you've got stitching going along the arms as well. Love the stitching going down. But look at that face, so creepy. He's got a mouth full of blood and bugs, which I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's too creepy. I love it. So you've got the bugs and you've got the blood. So creepy. I'm obsessed. Look at the detail. Incredible. And then just to turn around to the back to show you guys. Here's the back. So you've got more stitching, more bugs. That stunning colourful base again. Very gothic. 
This gym show is honestly one of my top five favorite gym shows now in my entire collection, which is saying something because I've got quite a pretty extensive collection, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And he is called Gambling Ghoul. Cause I'm a gambling ghoul, baby, and no ads on play thing. that I have to show you guys in this haul is a gorgeous Disney mug from Shop Disney UK and it is the Deadly Nightshade mug and as soon as I saw this on the website I knew I needed it in my life. I think this looks stunning on my nightmare shelf. It is from such an iconic scene in the movie when Sally pops the Deadly Nightshade into the poison potion, the poison soup I think it was, for Dr. Frinkelstein, is that his name, for the doctor. So I think it's such an iconic scene so I knew I had to get this. On the other side you do have a super cute picture of Jack Skellington and it's super cute because in his eyes he's got Jack and Sally, he's like oh I'm so in love, I've got Sally in my eyes which I just think is precious, it's such a cute touch on this mug. Just like in the movie it comes with the spoon that Sally drinks out of so Dr. Finkelstein has been poisoned by Sally one too many times and he questions her and he's like hmm can you try it in case it's poison so she is very clever Sally and she got a spoon with holes on there so when she goes to take the soup in front of him it seeps through the holes so she doesn't get poisoned very smart girl Sally but the reason why I'm holding this so awkwardly is because I broke it, I snapped it like the second day of owning this mug because I'm an idiot, I'm a moron, I'm a natural blonde, I'm a ditz. So it snapped in half so I need to super glue it back together and then I think what I will do is I will display it with the mug on this side and then the spoon right next to it. I just love that this is identical to the movie, I definitely need to fix it but it is such a cool little spoon and a cute little extra there. So that is my Deadly Nightshade mug. season they have come out with an entire Nightmare for Christmas line and I love them all but the one that I most wanted and I knew I had to get in my life was the mayor because the mayor is just me he is a total anxious mess Jack I'm just an elected official answer me I can't make decisions by myself why is that me anxious mess total mood I'm obsessed with the mayor so I had to get this here's the front of the box I love this green color and it's got the artwork of the mare there which is stunning and the mare looks so cool and it is number 807 so that is that and then turn it around to the side look at this incredible artwork pop funko go artwork is always gorgeous oh my gosh stunning i love the colors i love the check design here beautiful and then here's the back, you've got all the different options of characters that you can get from this set. So you've got Sandy Claus, you've got Sally, you've got Jack with Zero and Jack looking scary. And then it says Mare down there. Here he is, he is so cute. So he's got his top hat which I love, his creepy face, his creepy eyes and he's happy, he's holding his microphone. Microphone, is it called? Stereophone? Is it Stereophone? He's holding his Stereophone, he's got his super cute Mare badge there which I love. He looks adorable, his shoes, he's even got his stripy pants on which is so cute. I love all the touches and details. And then the best part about this Pop Funko is you can actually turn him to a different side and it's when he's stressed and angry and anxious, basically me. So here he is when he is looking stressed and sad. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, yeah, he's looking more sad than stressed. So the chase version is when he's looking stressed and he's kind of like, should I do that again? Um, but this one is just him looking stressed but sad. So here is poor sad man, super cute, green lips, adorable. I will give you guys a close up. So cute. I just love that you've got the option of turning him around whatever side you want. Super cool. So this is the side that I prefer him on when he's happy. That is my mare, Pop Funko. I am definitely the mayor. I'm an anxious mess, total mood. Jack, answer me. So the next item I'm going to show you guys is something that we are all using during 2020 because we are in the middle of something that we never thought would happen, a crazy pandemic. So I have been purchasing a lot of super cute Disney masks on Etsy. I knew that I needed a Halloween NBC mask in my life. So I picked up this super cute Nightmare for Christmas mask, which I am getting so many compliments on. Like I wear it to work all the time and I've got a matching headband, which I'll show you in a second. And I get so many compliments when I'm at work wearing this. So it is this gorgeous dark purple mask and it's got black straps 
and then as you can see you've got all the different colourful characters from Nightmare for Christmas so my favourite is Oogie Boogie you've got Oogie Boogie on there which I love so cute you've got Zero you've got a lot of pumpkins you've got Lock, Shock and Barrel so cute you've got Jack looking ever so handsome you've got Sally and Sally looks gorgeous I love these bright colours Zero again, more pumpkins, Oogie at the top. I love that two of my favourite characters are right here on the top, which is Zero and Oogie. And then you've got Shock. I also love Shock, so I love that she's on the top. This is perfect, and the placement of the characters were exactly how I wanted it, and that was just pure luck. You've even got the mare on there, look, and I adore the mare, also one of my favourite characters. So this mask is stunning, and I just think, yes <laughs> i just love this mask so much and i also have the matching headband which i will show you so this is only four pounds from etsy i will leave all the links to these items in the description box down below so here it is this is a super cute headband and it is nightmare for christmas design again just like the mask dark purple with all the different characters going down the side you've got sally looking gorgeous you've got the mare on there some pumpkins more pumpkins, the super cute knot for the headband, adorable, you've got Oogie on there and then you've got Oogie again, you've got Jack Skellington and also on the headband you've got some super cute candy corns, I'm trying to show you guys. So there's Zero, super cute, you've got Shock, you've got some lollies and then some candy corns, um, you've got a moon and a cat, pumpkins, Jack, where's the candy corns gone? That's what I wanted to show you. Oh, there we go. You've got a super cute candy corn there, which I just love because I think candy corns are iconic for Halloween. Even though I'm Welsh and I'm not American, I love candy corns. Very Halloween-y. So, so cute. It has candy corns on there. I just love the colours and the characters on this. And this is adorable. And together with the mask, I get tons of compliments. So that was my mask and my headband. <laughs> Another form of headwear that I absolutely love is of course yours. So I'm going to show you the ones I have in my head. So on this side you've got Oogie Boogie and he looks so cute. I love the bright green and you've got the colourful worm sticking out of his stitches. And you've got purpley blue gems behind him which sparkle which I love. And then this stunning Halloweeny glittery sequin bow here in the centre with the gorgeous red dice in the centre because he's a gambling ghoul. And then on this side you've got Lock, Shock and Barrel which I'm obsessed with. Love the bright colours, purpley blue gems in the background again. These gears are absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with these. So yeah, I'm just in love. So that is my Oogie Boogie years. <laughs> the Cave of Wonders UK, which is another small shop which does amazing years, I have these shock years. Look at these. Well, on this side, you have got Shock, and she looks adorable. She is smiling, up to no good, looking very mischievous as always, holding her mask. And then you've got this stunning, glittery, hot pink background here, which sparkles. I absolutely love it. Look at that glitter. And then at the bottom, so cute, you've got purple pom poms, which I adore. And then in the center, you've got this stunning, sparkly, pink, glittery bow. And it's got two spiders on there. You've got a cute black one and then a gorgeous pink sparkly spider. Absolutely stunning. Look at the sparkle and the glitter of these gears. Oh my gosh. And then on this side, you've got a black trick and treat bag with a super cute vintage ribbon, which I adore. And it says trick or treat in pink glittery writing. Absolutely stunning. And the glitter again in the background and the purple pom poms. So cute. I am obsessed with these gears. I love all the details and the sparkle. affordable makeup brand in the UK called Makeup Revolution and recently they came out with a Nightmare for Christmas collection and I screamed when I found out that information and I had to get it so on the day of the launch I was there ready me and two of my friends were and we managed to get most of the Nightmare for Christmas collection and this collection is stunning I did everything from this collection but I tried to behave and rein it in and picked only the ones I really really wanted or the ones I would like wear the most color wise so there was a Jack Skellington palette which I loved, but it was a lot of dark colours and I don't do dark eyeshadow looks, I do very colourful eyeshadow looks. So I went for the Sally palette. So here is the Sally Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the packaging. So you've got a black and silver striped packaging and you've got Sally on there 
looking absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. It says Nightmare for Christmas, Makeup Revolution. It is a little bit dirty. I don't know if you can see here because I've been using this non-stop since I had it. I'm obsessed with it. I wanted to take super cute photos of it, lay everything out before I even started touching this palette. But I got too excited and I have to dip into it. I've done my eyeshadow today using this palette. So I apologise for it being dirty, that is why. So the packaging is gorgeous and then if I open it up, again I have been using it non-stop so if it is a bit dirty inside the palette I do apologise. You've got a lot of glitter sparkle eyeshadows which is my favourite, you've got a lot of matte eyeshadows. Stunning, a lot of pinks, a lot of purples, a lot of green and a lot of orange halloween colours. This is stunning and the names on these are perfect. The names on this eyeshadow palette are so cute, they all like represent different things in the movie. So I'm going to read the names out to you because they are too adorable, you guys have to appreciate them with me. So you've got Ghost, Chills, Pumpkin Patch, Jack, Spiral Hill, like the hill of the movie, amazing. Enchanting, Love is Eternal, Boogie Man, Better Together, Moonlight, Take a Chance, Roll the Dice, Roll the Dice, Trick or Treat, Jack O'Lantern, Romantic, Vampire Teddy, Frightful, Mad Scientist, a glow a scare this is halloween misfit love scream queen worms wart play dead feelings thistle shadow on the moon shadow on the moon and night frog's breath soup jewel scream scrumptious darkness deadly nightshade and dr frinkelstein so those names are incredible i think you'll all agree I'm obsessed with this palette. Also from the Makeup Revolution collection, I picked up two other lip glosses because I love lip glosses. I constantly use lip glosses. So the first one I picked up is the Sally lip gloss. So here's the lip gloss. It is a hot pink sparkly glittery lip gloss, which is totally my jam. And then the packaging is stunning. You've got Sally on there looking absolutely beautiful. So this is a clear gloss, which you can't beat. You always need a clear lip gloss in your handbag. So it's a stunning clear lip gloss. It says Nightmare for Christmas in silver writing. And then the packaging on this is stunning. It's black. You've got Zero looking so cute with his glowing pumpkin nose. And then the doghouse is actually a hot pink colour, which is so my aesthetic. I love the black and pink colour. Gorgeous colour scheme. I adore the packaging. And I can't wait to give this gloss a whirl. So that was my Zero lip gloss. Hi guys, spooky voiceover. So I completely forgot to include these stunning Jack and Sally earrings into this video. These are from a super cute small shop on Etsy. I adore these. They're simply meant to be. Hi guys, ignore the really bad glare in my glasses. I completely forgot to include this super cute small shop handmade item that I found in a local craft store and I had to include it. So I've popped in at the end of the night to include this because I was like watching a movie, I turned to the left and I was like, I forgot to include that bad boy. So I'm including it right now and it's so special because it's handmade and local to me. So yeah, I'm going to include it into this video. So it is this super cute little... Jack Skeleton Christmas Tree, a silver star at the top, sparkles, blue gem, black glitter, and then silhouettes of zero going all the way down, which I think, did you hear that? Which I think is so cute. So I had to include this quickly at the end of this video and a silver base here. And then hanging off it is this stunning Jack Skeleton face with some blue sparkly gems. This is so beautiful and I wanted to include it and show it to you guys. And that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, then please do like this video and consider subscribing because that would help me a lot and I'd be ever so appreciative. And if you are returning, thank you so much. You guys know that I love you. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all safe. And of course, stay magical. Bye, guys. Also, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I filmed for the first time with my ring light, woo, -woo which you can't see, but it is here. I'm going to try not to knock anything over. It is here, so I've given it a whirl for the first time. So please be honest and let me know in the comment section what you think. Does it make a difference? Has it helped? Let me know. Thank you so much. Bye!